Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. So, getting straight into things here. Uh, this game also has the Overdrive feature, which is uh, essentially a more powerful attack here. Uh, just a couple quick facts about this boss right here. His name is Sin Spawn Ames. He's got 2400 HP, so he's got a lot of HP, but he's not particularly strong. Uh, the Sin Scales each have 100 HP as well, so they're not too difficult to, uh, to kill, but you're not going to get any kind of experience from it. And uh, this boss can also literally never kill you, uh, just because the attack he does does very minimal damage. But uh, the easy way to describe uh, Orin's Overdrive, which is Bushido, is it's a, kind of like a timed, um, not time attack, but it's kind of like you have to hit these buttons in a specific order. Uh, within a certain amount of time, and the quicker you do it, the more powerful it goes. More powerful it goes. So let's give it a shot. There we go. I messed up at the beginning, but that wasn't too bad, actually. And uh, now we just kind of attack. So here's Demi, which, like I said, is kind of useless. It, it's never going to actually kill you. Now Titus, his overdrive is called Spiral Cut. And it does more damage if you hit the middle of that bar whenever it, whenever your cursor moves around on it. And it also does more damage if you hit it the first time around. So this attack deals, uh, I want to say it's like 25% of your HP every time you get hit by it, so you can't actually die from it, which is kind of funny. So that really does kind of make this sin spawn not useless, but it you're, you're not going to die from this guy. You, you can take a lot of damage, but he's never going to be able to deal enough damage to be a threat to you. And just like that, he's, uh, I think he's dead. Oh, very close. It might be one more attack. There we go. One more attack, I think. Yeah, there we go. And he's dead. So that's the first boss done. We don't get any kind of special things, but that's yeah, whatever. And we actually get to go to our first, uh, sin spawn. Or not sin spawn. I'm very tired. Uh, save spear. And we get to uh, check things out. Check things out. Um, so this game doesn't have an auto save feature like a lot of other newer Final Fantasies do. So, Traveler Save Spear Level One stores a record of your travels, also fully restores your party's HP and MP. Now, I am also going to try to get every um, every single Albed Primer in this game. That's that's kind of a big thing for me. So. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and do a new save data, just so it's there, but, but yeah. Alright, cool, save complete. Let's, uh, let's continue on with the show, then. <clears throat> Cutscene time. If I remember, this one's kind of a long one, too, so I'm gonna put the controller down. Let's get out of here. We're expecting. Huh? Give me a break, man. I was wrong, actually. <laughs> uh, will it let me attack right away? It won't let me attack the thing right away. That's okay. So there's kind of a trick to this fight. The uh, the idea behind this one is all you have to do is just keep on attacking these guys. It, but the problem is they're going to keep on spawning. So you're never going to actually be able to kill them. Or at least you're not going to be able to kill all of them. And this is actually not the last time we're going to see these uh, these enemies here. We're actually going to be seeing these guys could be bad. Uh, in a bit. That. Knock it down. What? 
Trust me, you'll see. So I guess now we're knocking down a piece of Machina or something. So just redirect all of your attacks to this guy, and you should be able to uh, to get through him pretty quickly. Oh, so close. And again, you're you're not gonna die on this fight. It's theoretically possible that you could, but you're you're not going to die in this fight. That is just a thing that will not happen. Instead, we're gonna destroy the machine and blow up the bridge. <clears throat> it's a little scary looking. You're gonna see that face a whole lot later on in the game. The face that was on the side of that building, he's, uh, he's an integral part of the game, that's uh, for sure. sure. Weird-looking thing, honestly. This is it. This is your story. So, we're no longer in Xanakin. Things are uh, continuing to get more interesting. What you're probably going to discover the more and more that we do this is uh, hey. things are going to continue to get weirder. My old man? That symbol in the background is something you might want to keep in mind, as well as just this whole place. If you've never played this game before, this, uh, this place is also pretty important. Actually, and um, I can't move the camera around, but see, there's that man that I mentioned. Although the closer you get to him, I thought about a, a lot of boy. things, like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded, and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. I don't have the air conditioner running in the background right now, because I wanted to keep the uh, interference down to a minimum as much as I can. But it, uh, it's starting to feel kind of warm in here. After a few more episodes, I might have to go pop that on and take a break from recording. <sighs> But anyway, we have ended up in a new place, and uh, well, well. Anybody there? Bird. Hello, bird. Aaron. Hey! Well, this is a place we will also be revisiting later. Um, there's there's quite a bit to do here. Anyway, um, actually, I said there's quite a bit to do here, but as of right now, there's actually not that much we can do here. There is a thing that we can check out over here, um, although it's still not that important. I wish we could swim a little bit faster. I'm kind of hoping at some point they'll do like a, a, a very, very like high definition remake of this game. 
Anyway, this right here is here is uh, our bed, and you what do can we here? translate this, no. but it's difficult. Can't read it. So at, at some point, I, uh, I I am gonna be able to translate that thing. But here's a chest back here with 200 gil, which is inconsequential. At some point, you'll be getting about that much every single fight. But early on, that's actually uh, a pretty good bit here. Let's see. Now, there should be a save sphere coming right up here, and there should be a couple more potions that we can pick up as well, if I recall. So, hit save here, and we'll just save over my other data. At some point, I might keep multiple saves for the just to push through. Ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's go back. I know where these two potions are, I believe. Because I believe if we take a left here, they should be in a chest right over here. Which they are. This, this should be two potions. No, it's not. It's a high potion. Oh, well, I missed the chest with the two potions. Oh, well. Two potions is inconsequential as well. They're not particularly helpful. And we've fallen in. So, there's not much we can do here. If you look around a little bit, you might be able to find something. I've never really looked that far enough around, but actually now that I think about it, since we're in this cutscene, you probably can't find anything underwater right now because we're about to go into our next boss fight. Although, this boss fight is also a little pointless. You guys had also better get used to this thing, you're gonna hear it a lot too. And similarly, yeah, similarly to our previous fights, it's just gonna be kind of a lot of hitting opponents with attacks early on. There's there's not a whole lot we can do either. You can actually die to these guys, if I recall. You can't die to the boss that we're about to fight though. Ah, uh, never mind, you can't die to them, because I guess after you kill two of them, the boss comes out. Kill two of them, the boss comes out. Now, later on, this guy is actually pretty threatening. Whenever we come back here, uh, in the post-game, to do something, a uh, nice side quest here. It's, it's no joke. This guy's kind of a difficult boss. All right, but for the purposes of what we're doing, we're gonna just keep on attacking like we always have been. Now, it is gonna look like he can do a ton of damage, but similarly to the previous boss, he only does what's like half of your HP. So, you hit him two or three times and he'll never be able to actually kill you. Instead, what he'll do is he'll just try to chase you off. frying pan and into the freezer. 
I thought I was gonna die great, in this place. Great line. All right, you guys. We're gonna have to figure out what happens next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I'm already having a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys are gonna uh, enjoy it as well. The more uh, we get into it, and the more I can actually play the game. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time on Let's Play 